Hi, my name is George Rodriguez, and this is my producer podcast project. As you can see, I chose Dr. Dre to do my project on. Um, personally, he's one of my all-time favorite producers, and I think he has been very influential to hip-hop. Andre Romel Young, also known as Dr. Dre, was born February 18, 1965, in Compton, California. He started off his early career as a DJ and an artist for the World Class Wrecking Crew in 1984, under Ruthless Records. In 1986, he left them and he joined NWA along with Ice Cube. Their most successful album was Straight Outta Compton, which really got him out there and led to his future success. In 1991, he decided to leave Ruthless Records and he joined Death Row Records along with Suge Knight, and that is the label in which he released his first solo debut album titled The Chronic, which turned out to be very popular, very successful, and one of my all-time favorite albums ever. Um, in 96, he decided to leave Death Row Records because of some legal trouble with Suge Knight and some disagreements. In 1996, he started his own record label called Aftermath Entertainment, which is still today a fully functioning record label and is highly successful although there's only four artists currently signed to them um, he also released his second solo debut album called 2001 which was ironically released in 1999 but nonetheless went on to be also very successful and also another one of my favorite albums Dr. Dre also has a background in film he has played roles in a couple movies, two of which are The Wash, which includes Snoop Dogg, and another is Training Day, which includes Denzel Washington. Um, he is also credited with a bunch of production work for a bunch of different movies, including The Wash. Um, and in 2007, he signed a deal with Crucial Films, which is under New Line Cinema, to produce his own films, which include some horror films and also comedy. One of Dr. Dre's biggest decisions in his career was to sign Eminem in 1998 to his Aftermath record label. Eminem has gone on to become one of the most successful rap artists and one of the highest selling rap artists ever. And he is my favorite rap artist ever. Dr. Dre has won a total of six Grammys. Three of them have come as him being an artist and the other three have come with him being a producer. He has also won two MTV Movie Awards for videos that he shot and directed and also produced. As we all know, Dr. Dre is very successful. Um, he has a couple of endorsements and sponsors, which include St. Ides, Coors Light, Dr. Pepper, and also Chrysler and also HP, which Chrysler and HP, he sponsored them with his own company, Beats, which incorporated his product into their products. Um, like I said, Beats was created by Dr. Dre in 2008, which was originally just headphones. Um, eventually, he expanded into artists having their own brands of headphones and eventually into a music streaming app. Um, his, his company, Beats, became very successful, and more recently, within the past week, Apple has bought it for $3.2 billion. Um, that moves Dr. Dre's net worth up to about $800 million, according to Forbes. Thank you for watching my podcast about Dr. Dre. Like I said, he's my favorite producer of all time. Um, one of my favorite artists. Um, he changed the way hip-hop was back in the day, and he's just been so influential, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.